So take advantage of money-saving low, low interest rates on new and certified pre-owned vehicles. Our new bigger showroom means more inventory, and that means bigger savings for you. Come to the house at Good Service Bill and buy from Mike Burst Ford, and he'll give you five free oil changes while in 36,000 mile bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty. If you're looking for an incredible deal on a new or pre-owned vehicle from the dealer who has always put you first, stop the search. Call the all-new Mike Burst Ford in Blackshear. This is Sammy Dixon saying thank you. Thank you very much for your business. Are you thinking of selling your home or business? Hi, I'm Gloria, and as a realtor, I know that getting rid of the clutter in your home is one of the best ways to help sell your house quickly. At Jessup Premium Storage, our family-owned company provides a convenient and secure building for all of your storage needs. We now offer outdoor covered parking for that antique car, boat, or RV. Due to our recent expansion, we offer units that range in size from as small as a bedroom closet to as big as a one-car garage. All of our units are inside and climate controlled with 24-hour access and security. Our leases run month to month, so you're not locked into a long-term commitment, giving you the flexibility to move your belongings out the minute you purchase your new home. Stop by today or give us a call, 530-8003. That's 530-8003. Jessup Premium Storage. The cool, clean, and secure. WIFOFM Big Dog Country Butch Hubbard will be back tomorrow taking a day off today. It's time for the World Famous Butch and Bob Show brought to you by Parker Insurance and Realty, Jessup Premium Storage, and Mike Birch Ford. And we've got the Boys and Girls Club in here, Will Murphy, and guests on hand. I'll let him introduce the guests, but Will, what are we talking about with the Boys and Girls Club? Well, good morning. Thank you for having us. Um, of course, like I said, I'm, I'm Will Murphy, and I'm chairman of the board this year with Boys and Girls Club. Uh, I have uh, Felicia Williams with us, who is our uh, treasurer. And I have Air Elliott, who is our going to be our summer um, interim CPO this year. She will be leading our summer program, her and Jade Brown. Um, they've uh, graciously agreed to uh, lead that program for us this year. And uh, it, we're looking forward to a lot of exciting things this summer. And you're still looking for a CEO since Reed left, is that correct? Uh, we are in the middle of that process. We've, we're almost at the point of being ready to uh, make an announcement, probably looking sometime mid-June. Um, we're in the final final negotiations of that right now. Well, the school year is about to end, so the Boys and Girls Club will be busy this summer. So is that what you're here to talk about the summer program? Or? We're going to talk about the summer program. Um, we want to talk about, uh, you know, of course, we've got the uh, community garden going out back now. Um, and then, uh, of course, we want to talk about a raffle a little bit. So, uh, Air, um, kind of let everybody uh, hear about our summer program, how we're planning on kicking it off this Saturday. Yes, this Saturday we've got the Boys and Girls Club Summer Splash. We'd like to invite the entire community to come out and see what we have to offer. We are going to have uh, Will here is going to be bringing hot dogs, and so we're going to be grilling out and having watermelon and lots of other treats and popcorns and drinks, and um, all that is being graciously donated to the club. And we're also going to have a fabulous 180-foot um, bounce house water slide so bring the kids in their um, swim trunks and bathing suits bring it bring a towel and we're gonna let the kids have some fun tour the club see what we have to offer we're also going to be raffling off a couple of our membership for the summer or actually i'm sorry yes for the summer and um, i believe we're also doing a team membership for the year because we also have the team club um, and it's we're, we've got really exciting things plans this summer. We've got some of our college uh, students who've been off to learn um, interesting things coming back to work with the kids on technology, work with them on drama. Um, we're going to have some arts and crafts, lots of arts and crafts. Um, and the student council has donated um, cat, uh, kids craft kits um, to the club. So uh, there's going to be a lot of fabulous things going on for the kids and um, we've got Jay Brown coming in um, who is the English department head at the high school and so I'm really excited about a lot of the enrichment programs we'll be offering this summer but there will be lots of activity and fun for the kids and I mean that's just the best of both worlds learning and fun so we hope that parents you'll come out and see what we have to offer grandparents bring the kids I think they're gonna have a wonderful time on Saturday and they're gonna beg you to come back and of course J.R. Bryant is still with us he's our unit director and, and all the kids just love J.R. Um, he brings loads of fun to the club um, you know you see you see the kids out in the community and if they see Jr. you see see the kids run up and talk to Jr. and hug him um, yeah, 
Absolutely. JR is our gentle giant with a giant smile. And uh, he, the kids adore him, and he's going to have wonderful programming from the club, um, from Boys and Girls Club of America, and just great athletic programs for the kids all summer. Also, JR plans um, a lot of field trips for the kids during the summer, and they have the opportunity to travel to summer waves and various places that are a lot of fun throughout the summer. You know, of course, it is an extra charge, but however, all the kids have the opportunity that are six and older, yes. isn't that right, six and older to attend these field trips, and he pretty much has a full summer planned out um, of activities and field trips for the kids. Um, I think we should mention our cost for the summer is for the first child, it's $50, and for each sibling, it's $20 per week. And our hours are 7.30 to 5.30, Monday through Friday. Yes. So we've got a lot planned. Yeah, and, and along with that, every day, um, of course, we, we serve breakfast, lunch, and, and dinner every day. Um, every kid that's there has the opportunity to have a meal. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The... Uh, I forgot where I was going, um, but anyway, uh, like uh, they Felicia don't go mentioned, home hungry. Yeah, yeah, they don't go home hungry. <laughs> um, like Felicia mentioned, there's uh, field trips scheduled throughout the entire summer. Um, you can go to Boys and Girls Club uh, Facebook page. The calendar is actually posted on there for all the summer activities. Uh, if you can't find it there, you can go to my Facebook page. You can go to Felicia's. Any of the board members, we've all shared that page out. Um, the entire summer's planned. Uh, or go by the club. Um, the calendar's posted inside the office. Uh, it's another good way to find out uh, what's there. Um, Absolutely. And then we've got you know, the community garden, which uh, we are working with in conjunction with uh, Mr. Mike Deal and his um, crew at, within the, at the city. And um, it's just a wonderful project that we have going on. You definitely want to come by and see that. We've got a wonderful garden in the ground. We've got a fantastic greenhouse full of um, things growing and seeds and, and things, seedlings and things to go into the ground. We also have raised beds um, that we're putting in, and we've got our, our junior board working with that, um, the high school's uh, service and leadership class um sam fountain is uh, and davis ogden are the well davis ogden was the chair and is passing graduating and passing the torch to sam fountain and um it's just a wonderful op volunteer opportunity for any of the adults or youth in the community who want to come out and help with that but we'll also be working with the kids at the club uh teaching them how to grow their own fruits and vegetables and where food comes from and um, giving, teaching them a skill that they can use that can become a hobby or a vocation um, for their entire lives. And one thing we like to do is encourage the community to come out. We just finished up um, the um, community block grant. We had a lot of upgrades to our facility and um, we're at 550 East Orange Street. If you would like to swing by and look at the facilities and all the exciting and new things going on at the club, um, you know, we had a lot of great upgrades and um, the kids are excited about it and staff and board. So good things are happening. Yeah, and Eric was talking about our garden and uh, relationship with the city of Jessup. The city's actually using the greenhouse to uh, plant seedlings and keep flowers going for the uh, beautification downtown. You've seen in the baskets hanging on Cherry Street and Macon Street and all around. Um, we're actually working with the city on that, and and they're doing doing great things to try to help keep the, uh, the downtown beautiful. So it's a great um, partnership that we have with them. And then as the garden starts coming in, we're going to start selling uh, several of the vegetables off the porch at the club. Um, that'll be probably on Tuesdays um, between, I don't know, probably on Tuesday mornings, um, 9 to 12, or um, maybe Thursday mornings. Um, you know, of course, we have the, the farmer's market that sells on the weekends. And uh, hopefully this will be another avenue for folks in the community to get fresh, uh, fresh vegetables. Um, and also a way to help sustain the garden and the greenhouse and, and put a little bit of money back into the club. Um, but it's, it's more about awareness, trying to get um, kids aware of, of where the, the food comes from and getting the community involved with Boys and Girls Club and aware that we're there. Um, so so that's a, it's a, it's a huge project, um, and I think it means a lot to the club right now. Um, and then, of course, we've also got our 50-50 raffle going on right now. don't want anybody to forget that. Um, drawing's coming up June 1st. Um, we're about halfway there, um, so, you know, contact the board member. Um, don't be surprised if you get a telephone call out of the blue that says, hey, we're selling raffle tickets, do you want one? Um, you can do them by yourself or do them as a group. 
Um, you know, you just remember that the money goes to probably the best cause in Wayne County as far as I'm concerned. Um, absolutely, absolutely. And I mean, really think about it. $10,000, what a great way to start your summer. And tickets are $100 a piece, but we're only selling 200 tickets. So it's one in 200 chance of winning. But get together with a friend and buy a ticket or get together with nine friends and you can still start the summer off with an extra $1,000 a piece. That would certainly be an extra thousand reasons to smile besides the big smile you get and the feeling of um, knowing that you've accomplished, uh, have contributed to, I'm sorry, as Will said, one of the best causes in Wayne County. And that is the truth, people. I mean, really, think about it. I don't under, the question is not why should you give to the Boys and Girls Club? The question is why wouldn't you give to the Boys and Girls Club? Because you are investing in the future of Wayne County. Everything we do here in Wayne County is to make our future better. And this is for ourselves and for our children. And this is one of the best ways that you can ensure that is to support the Boys and Girls Club. It is something as busy as I am that I'm 110% committed to. And I invite all of you to join me in that commitment. <laughs> I just want to say, and it's all about raising money. Felicia, you're the treasurer, so any other big fundraisers besides the raffle coming up this summer, or is that pretty much the. We've got some things in the work. You know, we, we work right now on a small scale basis. You know, we've got the raffle going on, and we have um, a two year um, calendar that we're working on fundraising. But um, actually, I was here to see if you would be interested in being a contestant in Mr. Wayne County. No, I'll pass. <laughs> um, actually, actually, we do have a have another uh, fundraiser coming up very shortly. We're working on a uh, community coupon book. Yeah. Um, we're going to sell those for $10 and they'll probably be close to over a thousand dollars worth of savings yeah. Yeah. in that book yeah. um, to the local local businesses here in town. Um, several, several businesses in town have donated um, coupons to that. Um, you know, 5% off, $5 off, um, you know, some type of match to the purchase. Um, so it's, it, I think it's going to be huge. Um, and if anyone is listening would like to contribute to the coupon book, please contact one of the board members or the club, and we will send somebody by to um, to get the information that you would like to submit for our book because um, we think it's going to be a hot thing. Most people are liking it and um, liking the idea, and we are very excited about um, selling these books and getting them out. When will they be available? Um, we are hoping um, the 1st of June. 1st of June. 1st of June, and it'll run for a calendar year. Yeah, and really anybody, anybody interested can get in touch with uh, Elaine Rents, who's now our office manager. And I'm going to get her phone number right here real quick because I don't know it off the top of my head. Um, but um, Modern technology, <laughs> we don't know any numbers off the top. All right. <laughs> Elaine can be contacted at 202-6568. Uh, or um, anybody interested can contact me um, at 294-0800. At I'll be more than happy to take the information or make sure somebody gets by. Uh, we keep talking about our board members and um, yeah, I'd be remiss without mentioning our board members. Of course, three of us are here. There's uh, Nick Ellis with the uh, police department, uh, Mary Caitlin Williams, um, Fonda Davis, <coughs> um, Francis Jurgen. Francis Jurgen. Um, I don't know. Carolyn Kendrick Owen. Carolyn Kendrick Owens. Um, Amy Denny. Amy Denny. Amy's huge help. She helps out with our uh, educational program that we have. Um, it helps track our kids' progress in schools and, and gives us reports and feedback on how they're doing and, and how our program's doing. Um, we also have Ms. Micah Kicklider. Micah Kicklider. Yeah, Miss, <laughs> Miss City of Jessup. We have her on our board. Um, and uh, she, she's very insightful. Nick, uh, did you say Nick? I did say Nick. Bye -bye. Um, I'm outnumbered on the board, of course. I think it's just me and Nick. We're the only two guys. Um, yes, we're a small but very hardworking board. And if any of you listening to this are interested in coming on board and making that commitment, um, literally coming on board, please give Will a call. We will welcome your help. The treasurer will give her a number. I give out her number as well for that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and anybody who wants to take a tour of the club, uh, like I said, just. You, you know, feel free to stop by the club and ask for Elaine or CJR or uh, give me a call. Uh, again, you know, it's 294-0800. Um, I'll be more than happy to take anybody in the community on a tour of the club. Um, you know, it, it's all about it's all about the kids, really. And uh, the more recognition we get for the club and what it's doing, um, the longer we'll be here. And that's what it's all about, being sustainable with the club. Okay, boys are going to find one the drawing again. Where's it going to take place at? The 50-50 uh, raffle will take place on June 1st. 
and uh, what we'd like to do, hopefully, is uh, we can get one of the one of the kids from the club to meet us here and maybe do a live drawing on June first. Sounds good. Uh, so, giving away ten grand on the Butch and Bob show, June first. Up, up to ten grand. Up to. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Remember this Saturday um, from twelve to four at five fifty. East Orange Street, um, our membership drive. We would encourage you to come out, take a look at the court club, meet some of the staff, the board, and um, visit with some of the kids that are going to be there for the summer and see what we're all about. She was taking place at the club this Saturday. At, at the club and, and 550 East Orange Street, that's actually right behind the uh, City of Jessup Police Department, uh, located at Old Jessup Elementary School. Um, so that maybe that hopefully that'll help uh, everybody recognize where we're at a little bit better. Um, plus it gives people a chance that they want to you know, see the Boys and Girls Club and put their kid in for the summer, get a chance to look at the facility and see what it's all about. So that'll be good. Absolutely. Have a little food, have a little fun. And remember, bring the kids and stuff. They can get wet in. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Good. Thank you. Okay. I always appreciate y'all coming in. Like I said, y'all welcome anytime. Thank you. We'll be back with more of the Mitch and Bob Show right after this word, so please stay tuned. This is Bill Parker with Parker Insurance and Realty, your locally owned and operated independent insurance agency. We specialize in home, auto, commercial, ATV, motorcycle, and boat insurance. Being an independent agency, we have the ability to find you the best price available to suit your insurance need. At Parker Insurance and Realty, we can help you package your insurance or find the specialty insurance required to get you covered. We are your source for any real estate needs, whether buying or selling, we can help you. Give us a call today so we can discuss your insurance or real estate needs. Parker Insurance and Realty, 265 South Maple street 427 9345 that's 427-9345 from birthdays and graduations to weddings and anniversaries life is filled with moments you don't want to miss getting your mammogram may not come to mind as being one of those moments but a mammogram can add years to your life at southeast georgia health system we offer digital mammography to detect breast cancer early giving you the best chance for a positive outcome we can also provide advanced cancer care if needed all in a comfortable setting and in a location that's close to home at southeast georgia health system we want to help you make breast care a routine for life so that when your granddaughter gets her first tooth your son lands that big job and your husband finally retires you can be there to enjoy every wonderful moment learn more about our breast care services by visiting sghs.org or calling 1-800-537-5142, extension 5234. That's 1-800-537-5142, extension 5234. Congratulations to the Wayne County High School Class of 2016. The following businesses, individuals, and organizations salute you on your accomplishment and send best wishes for the future. Jessup Tire Shop, 795 West Cherry Street salutes. David Logan Lastiger, Austin Jacob Lee, Dontarius Javar Lewis, Noah Christopher Leitze, Amai DeAnthony Little, Jeremiah Valencia Littles, Deanna Michelle Long, Alan Lopez, Taylor Shea Lott, Charity Gabrielle Mackey, Carlton LaShawn Madison II, Zachary Austin Maynard, Brooke Haley Malloy, Brandon Hunter Manning, Jeremy Ryan Manning, Lennis Sinclair Martin, Taylor Brooke Modlin. Are you thinking of selling your home or business? Hi, I'm Gloria, and as a realtor, I know that getting rid of the clutter in your home is one of the best ways to help sell your house quickly. At Jessup Premium Storage, our family-owned company provides a convenient and secure building for all of your storage needs. We now offer outdoor covered parking for that antique car, boat, or RV. Due to our recent expansion, we offer units that range in size from as small as a bedroom closet to as big as a one-car garage. All of our units are inside and climate controlled with 24-hour access and security. Our leases run month to month, so you're not locked into a long-term commitment, giving you the flexibility to move your belongings out the minute you purchase your new home. Stop by today or give us a call, 530-8003. That's 530-8003. Jessup Premium Storage. The cool, clean, and This is Sonny Dixon at the all-new Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear. If you haven't had a chance to come see our new state-of-the-art showroom, then there's no better time than right now. 
while you're here, take advantage of huge savings on new Ford trucks. Get more than $10,000 off on select new F-150s while they last. You must hurry. They're going fast. Over $10,000 off on the best-selling truck in America for 39 straight years. You can also take advantage of money-saving low, low interest rates on new and certified pre-owned vehicles. Our new bigger showroom means more inventory, and that means bigger savings for you. Come to the house at Good Service Bill and buy from Mike Birch Ford, and we'll give you five free oil changes following 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. If you're looking for an incredible deal on a new or pre owned vehicle from the dealer who has always put you first, stop the search. Call the all new Mike Birch Ford in Black Shear. This is Sammy Dixon saying thank you. Thank you very much for your business. The world famous Butch and Bob show on a Tuesday morning, Butch will be back tomorrow. Brought to you by Parker Insurance and Realty, Jessup Premium Storage, and Mike Birch Ford. And uh, Bob, you've got some. Uh, just a, notes few, here. Yeah, just a few reminders again early voting continues all this week it's the last week of early voting the primary day is a week from today may 24th the reminder will be your election headquarters that evening and they're averaging about 120 votes a day 120 votes cast on monday 77 on saturday again nine to five today through friday at the registrar's office inside the wayne county courthouse three locally contested races creating a lot of interest again the race was shared between john carter and toby cameron the Clark of Course race with three ladies in the race, incumbent Eloise Ogden, challengers Francis Sugar and Pat Devaney, and a local race for corner between incumbent Jay Fulton and challenger Jennifer Deal. Again, it all takes place a week from today, Tuesday, May 24th. Also, don't forget the high school graduation this Friday, May 20th at the stadium, beginning at 7.30. Practice set for Thursday morning at 9 a.m. High school asking that all guests be seated in the stadium this Friday by 7.20. Again, the gates will close for the procession at 7.30. Also, a reminder, parking in front of the James E. Bacon Gymnasium is off limits to the public. This area is for seniors only. Parents will not be allowed to drop off their seniors in this parking lot. They must do so at the back of the gymnasium. Again, the final graduation practice will be held on Friday morning. All seniors will report to the James E. Bacon Gym that morning at 8.30 a.m. And this coming Thursday night, it's honors night at KK Go Theater at 7. This event by invitation only. Seniors will be recognized for the following achievements. Valedictorian and Salutatorian, Georgia Scholar, Star Student, Wayne County Scholar, President's Award for Educational Excellence, the 1600 Club, Perfect Attendance, and Local College Local and college scholarships will be announced that night, Thursday, at the Honors Night. Senior Diploma and Report Card Pickup is Tuesday, May 24th, from 1.30 till 3 in the Commons area of the high school. And high school principal, Bo Adams, will be our special guest tomorrow on the World Famous Butch and Bob Show. He'll tell us all we need to know about graduation this coming weekend. Jonathan's going to get us a good weather forecast on Friday, and it'll be good to go. Two words. <laughs> Plan C. We'll, we'll find out there's a plan C tomorrow. We need to plan C. I mean, it can change 36 hours out. Once you get past that, you don't know. But they're saying showers Friday night and showers on Saturday. Think positive, Jonathan. The forecast is all wet, and it's going to be good. We're good to go Friday. <laughs> That's about all, yeah. That's going to wrap up the Fish and Bomb show again. Bo Adams tomorrow, he'll tell us all about the high school. Maybe he's got a plan C. We'll find I don't, out. I don't know one, but if he has one, it'll be unveiled tomorrow. Breaking news tomorrow. I can see it now. <laughs> Plan C. And if you would remember, I need to. I need to. If you get him to call me or give me his number so I can reach him, I need to find out who's uh, going to be running the uh, audio for graduation, so I can, we can interface our equipment with it. Sounds good. Right. Have a good day, Bob. Have a good day, Jonathan. Get a better weather forecast for Friday. Right. <laughs> weather man, that's your job. All right. Do your job. What's that say? Oh, that's Bill Belichick. Do your job. That's his famous line. Okay. Just do your job. Okay. Right. Fine. That's a good weather forecast on Friday. Right. Have a great day. See you. See you. World famous Butcher Bob Show on WIFU FM. Brought to you today by Parker Insurance and Realty, Jessup Premium Storage, and Mike Birch Ford. Good morning from WIFU FM at 823. At First Southern Bank, we understand that when you're applying for a mortgage, the loan is for more than a house. That's why for over 100 years, South Georgia families have trusted First Southern Bank to provide competitive mortgage rates and comprehensive guidance through the buying process. Whether it's your first home purchase or the upgrade of your dream, we know it's more than a house. It's a place to call home. To learn more, Visit FirstSouthernGA.com. First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hello, my name is Chad Neesmith from Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup. At Neesmith, we had the biggest inventory of new and used vehicles around. We also had the best prices guaranteed. We know everyone wants the best vehicle.